Kiba Solo can do more than just back up a website. It can also back up files and sites that exist above your web route. There are two occasions where you may want to do this. If you have a downloads folder that you are protecting by keeping above the web route, you would want to make sure that you back that up as well. You may have also installed an additional website, perhaps a subdomain for a WordPress blog, and you want to make sure that in your backup you include this site as well as the main site. We can see there are two options for including data in the backup, one for databases and one for directories. To begin with, let's look at the databases. So select multiple databases definition. Here we can add the details of the additional databases for the blog that we want to back up. Click on the small plus icon and a pop-up opens asking for the connection details for your database. You should have this from your web host. First, enter the host name, the username, the password, and finally the name of the database you wish to back up. Click on Test Connection. When you have a success message, click Save. You've now configured Akiba Solo to include this additional database in your backup. We now want to include the files. From the dashboard, select the off-site directories inclusion. Again, click on the small plus icon and then click on the folder icon. Here we can see that we have in our hosting account three folders. Downloads, where I am storing the off-site downloads. Blog, for my WordPress blog subdomain and public HTML, which is my current PHPv3 forum website. If I want to include the downloads folder, simply select it, select use, and then click on the save icon. Repeat that for the blog by clicking on the plus, browse, selecting the blog, and selecting use. Finally, save. We can see here the names of the temporary folders that will be used inside our backup. Now we have added our external database for the blog and our two folders for the downloads and the blog itself. We can go ahead and create a new backup. Restoring this backup is almost the same as the restoration process shown in the other videos. However, there is one final step you will need to perform. The additional folders that we backed up that were above the web root of our PHPVB3 website have been placed in a temporary location and we need to permanently move them. I'm going to use my FTP program to connect to my server where I have restored this backup. Here in the web root of the website you will find a new folder called external files. If you navigate into that you will find two folders and a readme file. This readme file explains that this one is our blog and this is our downloads. So what we need to do is to move those to the correct location on our web server, which in my case is above the web route. So I click downloads and drag and drop and repeat the same for the blog. Now we can see we have our three folders. I need to rename these to their original names of downloads and folders. Now they are back in the place where they were originally. By using the multiple database definitions and the off-site directories inclusion feature of Akiba Solo, we can use it to not only back up our main websites, but to back up other databases and folders within our hosting as well.